Today, we have coverage of Celebrate Marcus, Lacrosse, and the Circle of Life, all coming up on MOB. Welcome back, Marcus. I'm Alexis Garner. And I'm Gio Cabal. The Culture Fair is an annual event that takes place at Marcus. Recently held, Celebrate Marcus expressed many unique cultures within our school. We're representing Brazil. I'm representing Vietnam. I'm representing Mexico. I'm representing Spain. I've always wanted to do this since I was a sophomore. I get to share things about myself, about my culture, about my family. Uh, I feel really happy about like expressing my culture. It's cool that everyone gets to learn little bits of, of what we eat, what we talk about, and what our main values are. Um, it's very fun, it's very colorful, and it's very rich. We had a lot of food, it's all gone now. But it was the best way that we could think to get people's attention. It was really fun. Embracing different cultures from across the school is important to students. Uh, people know Vietnam as like the war-stricken country, um, but I think it's more than that. It's a lot of, there's a lot of festivities, a lot of fun, there's a lot of food, culture. I understand that everything is different from mine, and it's good to be open-minded to such. Another way Marcus expresses its culture is with the Taste of Soul event. Just like how we have, like, the culture fair here, it's sort of like our own culture fair. We have mac and cheese, fried chicken, brisket, collard greens, regular green beans, cornbread, rolls. It's a way for our own Black History Club to like come together and volunteer to like share our culture. Especially when we got on the Ox, it goes crazy. I don't know if y'all saw them back there, but baby, they was dancing, they was doing our little shuffle. I promise you, it was like a family reunion in there. It feels great because they get to see a side that like, usually it's just for us. So the fact that everybody is coming in and just like enjoying themselves, eating the food, it's great. This has been Rishi Hanumanlu and Anuva Rashid reporting for MOB. I went and I got this really pretty henna tattoo at the end of your bow. That's so cool. I went and visited some of my friends. Aren't you also in robotics? Oh, yeah, I am. On that note, Marcus's robotics teams are wrapping up such a great season. Marcus has three robotics teams, and we asked some captains their views on their now ending season. I got interested in FIRST last summer when I joined a community FTC team and from that community FTC team we merged with Marcus to make a Marcus team. I was first introduced to FIRST in 6th grade by Mr. Markowski, our robotics teacher, because he was my robotics teacher in Hedrick Middle School. I decided to just try it out. I did like career center classes too, but I ended up really liking it from like the first day. So I joined the club, see how it went, and then I ended up really falling in love with it after that. Robotics is a very team-driven sport. A good teammate is a teammate that does their work, has fun while doing it, and also experiences and learns more about FIRST and STEM. It's somebody who cares about the program, not just because they want an award, but because they want to promote uh, robotics and STEM in their community. The captains have ways of motivating their teams. I made it to where we are now by doing hard work and dedication and having amazing teammates. How do you do it? I yell a lot. <laughs> you can ask any of them. Um, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Every team has a different approach to advancing. What pushes our team to work harder, or my team to work harder, is winning, because winning is a great feeling for everyone to have, and that encourages our team to do their best they can. I want them to go to Worlds, <laughs> so just be better. <laughs> This has been Gio Cabal and Eli Matzel reporting for MOB. I hope y'all's efforts lead you to UIL state competitions. Well, we're sure to put in the effort for it. Seniors, do you remember all the fun times you've had in high school? All the TV watched, games played, and friends you've made? 
Get the chance to recount your good times and leave your mark on Marcus in our 2024 senior class interviews. Sign up today by scanning this QR code and relive your favorite memories. Next, we brought four people together to experience the circle of life through an egg. We gave four people an egg and tasked them with creating a new life. Anyway, so this is Willithan. He hasn't had any interaction with anybody since like seven years ago. The accident. And, yeah, since the accident, <laughs> arguably. Stop! Can my egg keeps see? condensating. Why is my egg sweaty? My egg is sweaty. No, they're crying. They're oh, emo. They're just crying. Girl. <laughs> the most useless part of the band. You know why? Because you get turned all the way down. No one hears you. You're just there. Yeah, they're raw eggs. So, girl, do not break them. <laughs> <laughs> So you have basically one giant Joker reference, right? But then hear me out. Your mother. Uh, yeah, th th this is Jerry the Platypus. Oh my. <laughs> I haven't bothered to look at yours. He is uh, definitely not a secret agent, and you have absolutely nothing to worry about. This is Liz, um, but it's spelled L-Y-Z-Z. -Z. <laughs> <laughs> he's supposed to be seen. You can't tell, though. Um, and he's currently dating Liz. So, hold on. No! Wait, can I take a photo of my egg? Wait, yes, please, please, please. Yes. Can... Okay, I'm sorry, Jerry, but not really. Okay, this is execution. You don't say I'm sorry to execution. Oh, 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 not the, oh, oh. <laughs> I think this should just be simple. Maybe. Don't crush my hand. I think that's all that's necessary. Yeah? Now, more to start. Oh, not my jeans. <laughs> This has been Alexis Garner and Christian Urea, reporting for MOB. <laughs> they grow up so fast. I know, I know. Anyway, moving on, MOB is open for applications next year. Check this out. Are you outgoing and need a creative outlet? Ever wanted to join an exciting, unique elective? In MOB, you can learn camera skills, video editing, and make memories with your fellow staffers. MOB staff have the opportunity to use their skills to create distinctive news segments, go behind the scenes of events, and meet important members of the community. Grab an application form in room C108. Applications are due March 29th. Did you ever think that Marcus and Flower Mound could get along so well? Not really. You'd be surprised. We sent Cam and Dylan to go cover the joint lacrosse team. Marcus and Flower Mound might be rivals, but this lacrosse team found a way to bond. Flower Mound, from what I understand, has had a program for a number of years. Um, Marcus, I don't hasn't had a program in a while, if if ever. I'm not sure about the whole history about it, but um, I know since they are so close that any player, any person from Marcus that would want to play is then sent to Flower Mound because we are the closest program, closest home school with the program. So. Coach Hickson explains the rules around the cross. Um, it, every game starts with a face-off in the middle of the field where the ball will be on the ground and two players are going at it trying to grab that ball. The team that scores the most goal wins. There are three different, you know, actually four different primary positions. Close defensemen, they're called long poles because their sticks are six feet long. They are allowed maximum of four on the field at one time. So when we're on defense, we will have three close defenders, all with long poles. We'll also have one midfielder who can go up and down any part of the field that also has a long pole. And then in addition to those four long poles on the defensive side, we'll have two guys that have short sticks, normal, just regular player sticks that are called short stick DVDs. There's components of soccer, there's components of hockey, there's components of football. So it's a lot of different sports combined. Um, it, it is a contact sport. 
Coach Hickson has some very talented players. We've got a couple guys on this team that are going on to play at the next level, including Grant. He's heading off to uh, Bellarmine, which is a D1 program. We've also got our goalie Trevor, who's heading off to Seton Hill, which is a D2 program. And then Evan Lechner, one of our attackmen, he's heading off to Capital, which is a D3 program. Playing is important, but the heart is what is really needed. You know, I hope they look up to me as um, a role model and somebody that they can turn to, that we're all here for the same goal and we have to be on the same page and focused. This has been Campbell Howell and Dylan Bucat reporting for MOB. That's so impressive. I tried to play once and it didn't really go well. I kind of fell on my face. Anyway, that's all for today, Marcus. I'm Alexis Garner. And I'm Gio Cabal. But before you go, we asked some Marcus students to guess the Taylor Swift song or Bath and Body Works scent. Let's take a look. A Thousand Wishes. The scent. That's Taylor Swift. Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works. Into the Night. That's Taylor Swift. That's definitely Taylor Swift. That gotta be. Taylor Swift. Bath and Body Works. Sounds Christmas Tree Farm. Oh, that's a song. <laughs> that's Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works. Taylor Swift. I ain't never heard of Bath and Body Works on Taylor Swift. Christmas tree farm? Sounds like Lily Farm? F A R U? Christmas tree farm. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Uh, song. Midnight Snow. Sounds that's not Taylor Swift. That's Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works. Midnight Snow. Now I find out Taylor Swift. Bath and Body 